today, we're going to meet four of the bravest, fastest, and most advanced visual developers in the Webflow community. They'll be going head to head for a chance to win up to $5,000 in prize money and the title of Speed Build Challenge Champion. Welcome to the 2023 Webflow Speed Build Challenge. Are you all hyped for the semifinals? Now, before I begin, I want to give a huge shout out to all of the Webflow Conf watch parties watching all around the world. You all are awesome. Let's give a round of applause. I also want to give a shout out to all of the 22 challengers who competed in this year's Speed Build Challenge. It is not easy to compete in this type of competition. So let's also give them a round of applause. Okay, after three regional rounds that were streamed live on YouTube, we are here today with four incredible semifinalists who, who have already won airfare, hotel accommodations, and a ticket to Webflow Conf. But today, they'll now compete for cash prizes and trophies. Third place will receive $1,000, Second place will receive $3,000, and first place will receive $5,000 and the title of Speed Build Challenge Champion. <laughs> All right, now if this is your first time tuning in for a Speed Build Challenge, let me walk you through how this works. Our challengers will be given a random prompt, which you, our live audience, will help us choose. This prompt for this year will include the type of layout or component to build, the general topic of the content for the layout, a theme for the design, and a Webflow interaction they need to use. As for the rules, they've been relaxed a little bit this year. Each challenger will only have 15 minutes to quickly design and build their projects in Webflow. Also new this year, challengers were allowed to gather assets for their projects prior to today's challenge. And they are also allowed to use any free plugins, apps, or custom code to help with their projects. Now, once the round is over, our guest judges will give each project a maximum score of 10 points. Speaking of judging, let's quickly meet our amazing guest judges. Welcome, judges. So quick introductions. First, we have founder of Zabal Media, William Irizabal. <laughs> Next, we have Webflow's very own staff brand designer, Johnny Gomez. <laughs> and lastly, we have creative director at Approachable Systems, Carmia Weideman. Thank you all so much for being here to judge this year's Speed Build Challenge semifinals and finals. Are you all ready to start the semifinals round? Let's Ooh, go. Absolutely. All right. How about you, audience? Are you ready to meet our first semifinalist? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay. Let's begin this semifinals 2023 Speed Build Challenge. And all the way from India, and returning Speed Build Challenge semi-finalist, please welcome back Ankita Gupta. Hello. Welcome back. So this is your second time on this stage. Last year you placed fourth. What do you have planned to help you place higher this year? Honestly, uh, this year's challenge is quite different from the last year, so I'm using different strategy and approach to this challenge. So let's see if it works. Yes, I hope it works too. <laughs> Good luck. Go ahead and take a seat. Thank you. Let's hear it for Ankita. <laughs> and now, her challenger, also coming in from India, let's welcome Shreyas Kotakanda. <laughs> So 
so the community has spoken and voted you into the semifinals this year. What would you like to say to the, to the community? And what have you done to prepare to go against Ankita? Well, uh, after the last uh, the previous round, the regionals round, uh, after I couldn't make it, everyone around me was like, oh, now we're going to take that. We, we're going to make sure that you go to San Francisco. <laughs> that, that, that was great, actually. And how have you prepared to go against Ankita in the semifinals round? Uh, like, after seeing her last time, like, the preparation that she had, I had to like, uh, I had so much pressure. So I have to prepare this <laughs> item. Okay, okay, let's see if that preparation uh, has, uh, is going to work for you. Go ahead and take a seat. Let's hear for Shreyas. <laughs> Good luck to you both, and a special shout out to both their families. They are watching from home, so hello to you all. Let's get started with this first round. Hi. So we're going to start by generating your random build prompt. Oh, yeah, audience. How many times should we randomize the prompt? Give me a number, one through five, okay. something. Three. I'm hearing a lot of threes. Very average. <laughs> All right, let's get the prompt up. All right, let's click it one time, two times, and a third time. This is it. A hero row for a gym that has a water theme that also has a page load interaction. One more time. A hero row for a gym that has a water theme that also has a page load interaction. Okay. We have headphones on. Go ahead and put your headphones on, Shadeas. Let's put 15 minutes on the clock. Okay. Audience, judges, say it with me. Our first semifinals round. Ready, set, set build. build. Let's go. And as they're getting started, let's learn more about our wonderful guest judges. All right. So, William, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Happy to be here. Glad to hear it. So, last year, your company received the Enterprise Award, uh, Enterprise Partner of the Year Award. So any tips you can give the community for uh, building an agency? Oh, it's so tough to just nail down one. OK, I got one for you. OK. So when I got started, I wanted to work with the big brands of the world, right? I think it's, it's an ambitious goal to, to want to do that when you're getting started. I was a freelancer. And now in hindsight, thinking about it, I think it's more important rather than to try to find these companies, it's to build yourself up and provide the type of value that those companies need. And the only way to do that is by building the team that has ownership, and then together you do it, right? And yeah. that's, that's been the key takeaway, for awesome. sure. Thank yeah. you so much for that. Next, we have staff brand designer Johnny from Webflow. How are you doing, Johnny? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> San Francisco. Lots of Johnny fans in the audience. Johnny. I'm so glad you're here. You've done so much for the community. And I, I remember meeting you on the online uh, community called The Designership. You've done so much wonderful things. And you just had your first child this year. Congratulations. Thank you. So now that you're a new Webflow dad designer, what's one new perspective in life that you've learned? As a new fellow dad designer, um, I'd say that sleeping is a blessing. Mm. Uh, so sleep as much as you can right before <laughs> wet flowing. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. And lastly, Carmia, welcome to the stage. Thank you. <laughs> so there are so many great women leaders in the Floxies community. What do you think sets the Floxies community apart from other communities? Yeah, so super fantastic communities all over Webflow. Um, but I, I do believe that the community gets created because there's a need for it. So I really feel that the Floxys community bridges a gap. It, it fills a void for women that want to be in web design, tech, US, UX, and the US. Um, so yeah, just fills that void. Awesome. Let's hear it one more time for our judges. <laughs> All right, judges. There's 12 minutes, about 12 minutes left on the clock. Uh, what are you seeing right now? Um, yeah, what stands out to you so far? I, 
I see a shoe on. What is that? <laughs> a shoe on. Okay, <laughs> there we go. It's some gym equipment. Okay, yeah, it's wow. a gym. And I think that's yeah, that's that's Ankita using. Okay, so Ankita is bringing in her assets right now. So this is a gym. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I like that border. I like that border. And then we have Shreyas uh, looking for images in pixels. All right. Mm -hmm. And they actually had a chance to use the UI so they get used to it beforehand. So, yeah. So they're already jamming along here. Oh, some type there already. Yeah, there you what go. What did you say? <laughs> nice some typography. Type. Huh? It's interesting how, like, when the prompt came up, you yeah. can see both of their faces kind of like. Yeah, like, like I'm trying to look for for that yeah. and brainstorming everything. Yeah, the wheels were turning immediately. That's why I wanted to say it twice because <laughs> just to make sure they understand. But um, yeah, this is a very unique event and um, one that it's like there's so much pressure. Uh, yeah, to go to the gym now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so much pressure to go to the gym. That has but, a water theme. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. I yeah. need a drink. It's interesting how there's there's the start with the creative right and then there's more of like a framework layout type of structure i'm curious to see how these two evolve right exactly. i think they both have legs water legs sea legs whatever you want <laughs> <laughs> yeah i already feel the water theme in ankita's project i'm wondering what shreyas will do because he he does have um light blue uh where will he go with that um and he's already using a webflow pre-built layout and again, challengers are allowed to use anything, even chat GPT, Reloom. Um, spline. Yeah, even Spline if they wanted to. So this is, this is good. And they have all their assets ready to go. Is there anything we see? So 10 minutes left for our challengers in this first round. Right. It's interesting how there's all these integrations and things that you could do in Webflow. Yeah. But then once you're in a 15 minute time crunch, yeah. how many of those things can you actually think of and actually execute, right? And you have over 20,000 people watching every clip. No Wait, biggie. what's happening on no, Ankita's no screen? Wait. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's focus on Ankita's <laughs> screen. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ankita, we, she can't hear us, but we are watching you. Aquafit, okay. There you go. I can see a gym named Aquafit. <laughs> Yeah. And with all these layers, I think she's going to make the waves move in some way. That's what I'm feeling right that's now. That's right. That's what I'm hoping to see. I mean, yeah. That's... Yeah. A basic move on the X axis, maybe yeah. also on the Y if she has time. <laughs> but yeah, focus on Shreyas' screen. Okay. Shreyas is already working on interactions. interactions. Okay. Ah, ah. So I see two differences already in the builds. We have Shreyas going straight for interactions first, and I think he'll put design after, yeah. whereas Ankita is doing design first, and she hasn't touched any interaction yet. But I, I like these two uh, types of workflow. We'll see what happens. A lot of Command E also on Ankita's screen. Oh, yeah. Command E for, why do I know? Oh, quick find. There yeah. we go. If I mess that up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. That's a lifesaver. I remember when it first came out, I, yeah, there was no longer a mouse movement, none of that. It was just all keyboard shortcuts. Yeah. So you do all keyboard, you never use the mouse, tabbing everything. Not always, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. For like components and things of that nature, yeah. Awesome, awesome. I feel like Ankita's style is always like, immediately there's so much on your page and then it all comes mm -hmm. together it's completely different than starting simple yeah yep. and kita does that okay Ooh, and i see we we have lottie flow by okay. fin suite so i um really cool to see that come into play so on today's screen he's adding in um, a lottie animation downloaded from lottie flow for mm. free okay Nice. We have three bars. I'm still not seeing a man without a shirt on his screen. <laughs> <laughs> Look at both screens. <laughs> Give equal time to both screens. Okay, we're using Bard. Shreyas is using nice. Bard and, for content, and Perfect. we allow that. Anything that helps you with your build. I mean, I, I think we all use Bard as some sort of starting point, right? For sure. I like Bard. Yeah. Or at least ChatGPT. ChatGPT. Yeah. I still use Lorem Ipsum. 
<laughs> Ooh, old school. Yeah, pig Ipsum. Which one? Are you guys familiar with pig Ipsum? Pig Ipsum? I know cat Ipsum. So yeah, I know many cat. Samuel L. Jackson Ipsum. This is not friendly for this stream. <laughs> no, it's not. I think there is a Grimmer Ipsum somewhere. If not, there should be. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So uh, Ankita is now using interactions. And uh, yeah, okay, she's using opacity. I think it's gonna be a simple fade in, but let's see where else she goes with this. Oh, so it's not only one image of the water, it's several layers. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, okay. Like, I, I, I feel like it's just going to be constantly moving if she adds a, some sort of looping animation. Mm -hmm. A lot of Z, in, Z indexing in there. Oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah. All right, about almost six minutes to go. Audience, let's hear it for Ankita. And let's hear it for Shreyas, his first time on stage. Really amazing work that they can do within a couple of minutes. I mean, can you imagine yourselves working in this type of pressure? No, I'm looking over there. They look more calm than me, and I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Yeah, they're really in the zone. I, I think it's because we're pumping in uh, smooth jazz because we're at the SF, SF Jazz right now. Yep, so there you go. They're, they're chill, <laughs> they're chill. All right, I, I'm really interested to see uh, Ankita's screen. Uh, yeah, interesting how she has many different uh, act. Okay, there it is. That's cool. Yeah, I, in the audience, I heard some <laughs> ooh. Yeah, that's how I felt just right now too. So and the most powerful thing about this is that one click publish. Yes. And it's live yeah. for the whole world in 15 minutes. Yeah. In 10 minutes at this point. Exactly. Exactly. And again, just like I said last year, future clients don't expect these wonderful people to make your site in 15 minutes. No. Not possible. This is just for fun. This is just for fun. Thank you for that. I, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I mean, the power of Webflow, but I mean, <laughs> Don't ask for 15 minutes. Right. Even though I'm asking for it. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, They're giving them money. Huh? They win money, so. That's true. Yeah, you're okay. <laughs> All right. I'm looking at Shreyas' screen. We have four minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock. He's adding images on top of images, but uh, let's see where that goes. I'm really curious to see what page load effect he has because all I saw was the three bars. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I don't know if that's gonna impress you uh, enough, but we'll see where it goes from here. Yeah. Is there anything impressing you on the screen so far? Yes. Which one? Oh, okay, I know which one. <laughs> okay, we'll skip you, Carmia. Okay. Johnny. I'm out. <laughs> I think it, it's impressive, you know, just like the different approaches of like, yeah. Shreyas at this point is like putting a placeholder image on top of another placeholder image. Yeah. And I think, I don't know if he's like thinking already of the assets that he has, and he will just like replace those those images at the end. Yeah. Curious too, just yeah. like. Uh, yeah, yeah, it looks like it's like more logical on his side. He's trying to do the functionality first, get that out of the way, and then put the assets, <laughs> which, you know, obviously good assets that you find could um, make or break the, Absolutely. Uh, the, the look of it and your scores, right? Um, and please, Carmina. Be I will be Fair. Yeah, I'm, yep. Be fair, don't be distracted. I will not. Yes, I am be fair. a fair person. Okay, cool. William, what's coming out to you right now? Yeah, it's tough to say. It's still, I think we still have time, right? Yeah. We three have minutes three left. Three minutes. I'm uh, a professional. Okay, I believe you. Fair. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. So it looks like Shreyas is still looking for stock imagery. I'm not sure. I wonder if he knows about the Unsplash. Webflow app. I think some right. people in the audience were, um, I, I was actually thinking about that when you went to pic, uh, Pixels. Is it Pexels? Pexels. 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 It's the E though. Is it GIF or is it GIF? GIF GIF. Ha. Ha. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, trying to find uh, that one stock image. Okay, I think he found it. And oh, oh no, it's big. too big. Use Unsplash. He can't hear us. Unsplash. <laughs> oh no, don't. He looked at you. Oh, no. I don't want to distract him. I just, I just want to help. That's me. I want to help the community. Oh, well, I hope he finds the right assets really fast. He has only 20, or 2 minutes and 20 seconds to go. Uh, one more time, let's give it up for both of these challengers. 
It is not is not an easy task, yeah. and um, very impressed at the speed of both of these builds. Okay, please. Okay, he's gonna upload it. Uh, Shreyas is uploading his image. Okay, yeah, we got an image in there. Worked. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, he's just in the last parts of designing, and so I, I haven't seen his loader effect. So I'm very curious to see what he's he done. That Besides, might come in the last 30 seconds. Yeah, we'll he see. could do something. In yeah. 30 seconds. We'll see. We'll see. It's and, about getting all the parts too of like hero. Yeah. Gym. Yeah. Water theme. Yeah. And page load interaction. Yes. Yeah. Lot of things in the prompt. And Ankita, let's go to her screen. Ankita is using the, I, I love background clip for text and adding uh, gradients into it. And she's doing it. She is That's quick. Okay. It's looking good. I'm not saying it for the imagery, but I'm just saying the overall, it's looking <laughs> good. Great, great. That's the hero to have. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a good hero bro. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Now we have gradients on uh, Shreya's screen and now he's doing it. Okay. We have less than one minute to go. One minute remaining in this first semi-finals round. Give it up for our challengers. <laughs> I see a background video in there. Do you see that? Yeah. Right below the hero section. I want to see what that's going to turn into. Yeah. Hey, he added a gradient to the background. Let's see what he does with his interaction or the design. What will he pull off in the last 30 seconds of this first semifinals round? Here we go. All right, judges, again, you'll have 30 seconds after they present their work to give them their scores mm -hmm. up to 10. Okay, we saw a little bit of what Ankita's doing. Count it down with me. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Hands off your mouses. How do you feel? Good. Good. Okay. <laughs> and Kita, let's start with you. Please show us your project and tell us more about it. Uh, so the prompt we got is hero row for a gym and uh, with the water theme. So I had like the whole sea in the background and you can see like the, even in the page load interaction, wow. like there was the whole border is related to water waves. And yes, you have the gym trainer in between. <laughs> awesome. Well, so, great yeah. job with that. Give it a round of applause for Ankita. All right, Shreyas, your first time here. Let's see how you've done with your preparation. Go ahead and share us your project. So I've added a page load interaction, mm -hmm. three bars going to the left, and then uh, a simple hero row. Nice, nice. Refresh it one more time mm -hmm. so we can all see your page load. Awesome. Great right. job. OK, audience, judges, you have 30 seconds, please. Give your scores, and I'll get the final scores once you are done. But yeah, so I'm going to start with Shreyas. How do you feel? <laughs> I don't know where the 15 minutes went. <laughs> <laughs> it goes so fast, hence the yeah. speed build challenge. Again, it's not an easy task, but I'm so proud of you for making it here onto this stage. Uh, OK, and Kita, your yeah. second time here. How do you feel? Uh, as always, I am relieved that it's over. <laughs> But you like doing this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, definitely. Awesome. Well, thank you so, so much. OK, we got the scores almost ready to go. Um, and thank you so much to our judges for being fair, for being fair. OK. I mean, Ankita doesn't have a sign up button to the gym, so. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> All right. So uh, go ahead and stand up for you with me. OK. Go ahead and keep it right here. Yeah. OK. Yes. OK. So the challenger that's moving on to the finals is Ankita Gupta from India. Congratulations. You can head backstage. 
And huge congratulations to you as well. You've made it so far. Uh, I mean, putting your skills to the test in front of thousands of people all around the world. Um, is there any last words you want to say the, to the community before we let you go? Like, I'm really happy that I'm here. Uh, like, uh, uh, my mentors told me, uh, even if you win or lose, the, the experience is the most that matters. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. I like it. backstage. One, one more time for Shreyas. <laughs> okay, let's get ready for the second semifinals round. Are you ready to meet our remaining semifinalists? Yeah. There we go, yeah. All right, here we go. All the way from Denmark, please welcome Riziki Nielsen. Welcome. Thank All you. right, so this is your second appearance in this competition. And this year, you are a semi-finalist. What is going on in your mind right now? Uh, a lot. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I am super excited, and I've been looking forward to this for basically a year almost. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I also had some time to prepare, and I'm just going to do my best and have fun. <laughs> Thank you so much. Go ahead, take a seat. Let's hear it for Riziki. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, please welcome back another familiar contender and third place winner from last year's Speed Build Challenge, Carlos Sepulveda from Colombia. <laughs> All right, so I heard you've been practicing a lot to the point that you broke your laptop's keyboard. So, and, and also, you've been practicing so much and been getting tips from last Speed Build Challenge champion, Yuan. So what's the number one tip that he's given you that you're putting into today's challenge? All right, so um, Yuan and I uh, became like, really good friends. So he told me that from this year to this year, uh, that I have to use something that's going to make me just make uh, things uh, more clear into the designer, and that's because I didn't wear the glasses last time, so I'm going to use that this time. <laughs> <laughs> and jokes aside, here, uh, jokes aside, John just told me just go and just be very visual. That's the best advice. All right. Well, you have the glasses. You're ready to go. Listo. Let's give it up for Carlos. <laughs> Good luck to you both. All right. It's time to generate your... Random build prompt. Audience, I need a number. I heard two. I heard two. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and put the random generator up. All right, two clicks. Here we go. First one. Second one. Okay, here we go. A mobile app UI for a movie that has a fire theme that also has a continuous scrolling interaction. Oof. Again, That's a mobile app UI for a movie that has a fire theme that also has a continuous scrolling interaction. Working. What a movie. <laughs> whatever movie they want, whatever yeah. ChatGPT comes up with. All right, challengers, Is we have a question. Oh, okay, there we go. Your computer's on. Go ahead and put your headphones on. You can do it, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I love that energy. I love it. Let's go ahead and put 15 minutes on the clock. Judges, can you help me out here? Ready, Ready set, set, build. build. <laughs> right, we're starting the clock and here we go. It seems like both of them came super prepared and- Already. Wait, there's already a hero <laughs> row? Yeah. Because Weplo. Wait, how- That's the power of Weplo. Did a whole five minutes just pass? <laughs> oh, he was done before we got started. Oh, yeah, he's already done. He's going back in time. Right. Okay. That should be taken. Yeah, we have... All right, so com computer number one. Okay, right here we have Riziki, and right here we have Carlos. And I see that Carlos is the one who already has the hero row, and he's using chat GPT, whereas Riziki is working from a blank page and is already working on 
what looks to be like a container for a fake phone. Yep. Okay. The mobile app is coming together already. Yeah. I mean, phones is just a, a div with rounded corners. That's it, right? That's right. Usually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So I see Riziki came super prepared with a Notion doc. There's like documentation already for it? <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. User stories, there product you. requirement document, all, all, all laid out. There you go. There you I go. I think he had prompts for different use cases, and I think I just saw like a mobile app. Mm. And then he had like a bunch of prompts that he's actually yeah. adding here. Amazing. Wow. Let's go to Carlos's screen. Nice. Ooh, we have fire. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Carlos came prepared with Han Solo. Oh, Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the force is with him. Um, okay, so we have Carlos in chat GPT and using, it seems to be a, a fiery new Star Wars uh, movie. Is it a movie? Okay, yeah, a movie with the fire theme. There it goes. And I want, so it looks great on desktop. Is he going to make it responsive or something? Like, it's a mobile UI. Mm. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. So 12, oh, only two minutes and 15 seconds have passed, or three minutes, 15. And there's already a man. Great things happening. And I think Riziki is actually building all the UI for the, like, he will build the UI for the phone. That's what, what I'm I, thinking from what I saw. Yeah, it looks like it's the mobile UI on desktop. Okay, I like that. Which would probably be, you know, responsive as you scale it down. Yeah. That's a makes sense. To it. I mean, it's, it's a fake UI. Right. So, I mean, if it can be fake and probably scrolling inside of that, that div that represents the phone. Okay, so I, bottom left, I think that's a app or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm telling you, if this isn't mobile first, I don't know what else is. <laughs> yes, this is what mobile first this means. Right. Right. When a client's like, I want it mobile first, there you go. I had it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Just no. kidding. Don't take this advice. <laughs> I would definitely say it's two types of movies. Okay. On the one side, you have like a more like minimalistic sort of movie. And in Carlos's case, it's like full on yeah. chaos almost. Right. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay, and it looks like Carlos is already working on what the page scrolling interaction would look like with using multiple images. And okay, here we go. We have Riziki going for Reloom Library's uh, icons. Mm -hmm. I'm down for it. I, I love what the community builds and how fast they can, how much more superpowers they get when you have Webflow and the community working together. Yes. It's, it's just amazing, like how fast you can build. And okay, so Riziki is really going for a real <laughs> mobile app. And yep, just like, I guess in my head, Flexbox, and he's going to duplicate that. Nope, I called it. <laughs> I've been doing <laughs> this it. way too long. Have you been way doing this long. for a while? Yeah. A bit, uh. a bit. Okay. Okay, I see. I think uh, on Carlos's screen, he's gonna do the old school mm -hmm. uh, uh, crawler, Star Wars crawl. If he can get that angle correct, uh, I think he will make a lot of Star Wars fan happy, myself included. I think he's <laughs> building it for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's zoomed. It's gonna do the, oh my gosh. Now your audience. I, I can hear the music. Yeah, I know, right? I can hear it, right. You can just hear it. John Williams. Great man. You know, Nelson, what's interesting to me, I've noticed with Webflow, you can start off in low fidelity or you can go directly into high fidelity. And this is a classic example of that. One is focusing on structure. Carlos is focusing on the storytelling, obviously, and the actual visual design. Yeah. Right? And that's so creative. Not a lot of people think about it in that way, right? They think about Webflow as a mobile, you know, mobile, you know, tablet, desktop build. Yeah. But you can tell stories in this way too. It's not just, you know, an app or a website. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's. Um, what do you always say, make the way beautiful. Oh, yes. Aww. I love it. Like um, the community and everyone. Oof. Oh, sorry, I got distracted by Carlos oh. yeah. scrolling. Yeah. 
Okay. Wow. So while I like the scrolling, is it a mobile app? I'm still wondering how he's going to fit this in to look like a mobile app. So uh, again, audience, it's a mobile app UI for a movie that has a fire theme that also has a continuous scrolling interaction. And um, I feel like I see half on each side, the, right. the mobile on one side of, with Riziki and then the scrolling with uh, Carlos. So let's see who, who does this. I did see an overflow hidden. Okay. I did see that. So maybe at some point he'll control the width of it. Okay. We'll see. All right. I think the time is going slower for them. Is it? <laughs> yes. We have eight minutes and 25 seconds to go. Let's hear it for Carlos and Riziki. <laughs> All right. So Carlos is in the mobile breakpoint. Mm -hmm. So I think he held back the, the mobile portion. He getting, he's getting all of his assets ready and then putting into mobile. But is it app-like? Yeah, I mean, yeah. the prompt wasn't specific in that sense. He started with desktop and now, you know, he's in the mobile side. It is, it could be a mobile app, okay. right, UI, because okay. it's on the mobile breakpoint. I get it. All or right. even fire theme. It's like fire or like, that's fire. <laughs> ah, you never know these days. <laughs> Every time I hear um, that generation type of uh, language, I have to look it up on like Google or on Urban Chat GPT. Or yeah, like what is my nephew saying to me? Yeah. Oh, okay, he's not offending me. He's just supporting me. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's hard to keep up with you kids. I'm sorry. What kidding. is lit? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fire. All right. So going to Riz Riziki's screen, flame okay. pandemonium, and I see a gradient using a background clip. So that's cool, but need more fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Am I allowed to say it needs to be more lit? Did I say it right? You, you got it. You nailed it. Okay. You Nelsoned it. Okay. I'll just say it with more confidence. <laughs> that looks lit. <laughs> <laughs> it's lit. Okay, I got it. Yeah, feel good. Okay. I see the mobile app coming through now. Okay. On Carlos's screen? Yeah. Okay. The menu at the bottom. Oh, there's a menu at the bottom. Yeah. Yo. Okay. There uh -huh. we go. Han Solo right there. All right, going to back to Riziki's screen. And I wonder what type of imagery, assets that he brought, uh, that he prepared with to put on his screen. Oh, I do see a fire. fire. Thanks for pointing that out for me. Right. <laughs> I wonder when he's going to put it in and yeah, what, what, what kind of scrolling animation is going to do. Six minutes left. Six minutes, 10 seconds left. Um, really interested how this works. And yeah, it looks like Carlos has brought a lot of assets uh, ready to go. And he's also added a, a, a glass effect, that blur. I just saw that, yeah. That's a nice touch. Almost like an Apple-like experience. Ah, there mm. it goes. I see that. But just amazing what you can do in just nine minutes and 20 seconds. Yeah. No? And, and that's what I love. That's the main reason why I wanted to do these speed build challenges is because I wanted to give the community the biggest stage possible, but also show off how fun it is to build in right. Webflow. Like, just to throw paint on the wall mm -hmm. and just have fun. Like, do you do that sometimes? Like, what can I build? You know, what, what's fun right now? Absolutely, yeah. That's how I started watching your tutorials on YouTube and, you know, playing around. That's really what, what got it going. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the stuff they showed today that came out, you're just like, okay, bye. I cannot be a judge anymore. Going home. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. So you just want to make like pretty things, you know? Exactly. Like, or things that are not pretty just to learn. I mean. Yeah. I think that's how I got into a Webflow, mm. seeing things in Dribble and then thinking like, could I recreate that in Webflow? and then doing it and eventually, you know, yeah. sharing with the community. Yep. That's right. Just play around and see what happens. And, or if you want, put yourself on a 15 minute timer and see what happens. <laughs> it seems like they're having fun. Yep. <laughs> 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 they are having fun. They're really zoned in. They have four minutes and 24 seconds to go. I see that Riziki has gone into interactions. 
And so we have these scrolling animations. I'm wondering what he's going to do with this image of Lucifer. Hmm. So interesting, interesting choice. I think Carlos took the approach of like actually designing in mobile as if it was like an actual mobile app. Okay. Right. And while Riziki's like designing a, a phone pretty much in Webflow. Yeah. yeah. But notice that he put uh, the footer of the phone, the phone UI at the very bottom. It's like outside of his fake phone. I wonder if he's going to control what goes on inside of the phone with those buttons. Ooh, mm, yeah. okay, I see that. That could be interesting. And then he's so going to go on the mobile breakpoint and show us at the end. In three minutes. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> it's lit. It's lit, that's right. That's enough. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a limit of how much, what yeah. is it, Gen Z? Gen I, don't I don't know. I can't keep up. <laughs> I'll just think of Webflow. <laughs> I'm still oh. using Groovy, man. Groovy. All that other stuff. That's rad. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Three minutes to go, challengers. Uh, awesome work so far. I'm really, really interested to see how this goes. But one more time for both our challengers, Carlos and Riziki. <laughs> All right. So these semifinals are wrapping up in it looks like nothing is stopping, uh, nothing is slowing them down. Uh, go ahead. No. What are you looking at? Just the guy. Th that, that's Carlos. <laughs> no, I know. Oh, huh? that's, Harris. that's Harrison Ford. I know. Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is name, interesting. Not just guy. Indiana so, Jones. Yes. Is he, is he going for a horizontal scroll? Yep. Yeah, that's Whoa. what I was actually pointing at. <laughs> but you were distracted by... No. <laughs> I was like, it's going. Uh, okay. Oh, you wanted to look at Carlos's screen. Okay. Yeah. Got it. All right. So Carlos has added a, a horizontal scroll to make it feel more app-like. I like that. And I think you can do that with overflow scroll or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd love to simple see that, too. I'd love to see that margin top. I don't know. Maybe it's the visual designer in me, you know, like the body and the card maybe touching or like a, the gradient or something. Yeah. Uh, I'm waiting for that one. Okay. All right. Buy tickets. Alone? I like this. <laughs> I like this. He's adding labels to his call to actions. Nice. All right. Let's go back to Riziki's screen. There we go. He's mm -hmm. bringing the fire. That's the fire. <laughs> All right. Mm. He's adding it as some sort of background image. Oh there we go. I wonder how this will play out um, with the scrolling. Okay, he has it fixed, so that image is not going to scroll, but everything else will. That's my guess. Hmm. Yeah. And I'm guessing Z index negative one, perhaps? Wait, he's adding an ID. And he has an HTML embed. Hmm. I didn't see what code he put in. Oh, now this got interesting. But we have one minute. less than a minute to go. 50 seconds. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Here it is, the come final on. seconds. Come on, Carlos, come on, Riziki. Here we go. What are you gonna do with your project? 35 seconds. Whew. This is tough. I like both projects. I'm real. oh, he's publishing. I wanna see what he does. Uh, Riziki, here we go. What's he gonna do? What? Mm. What, what how? happened? <laughs> what how? <laughs> exactly. Where'd that image come from? <laughs> like a kaleidoscope image of this or something? What how? Couldn't need like a All new right. feature. Count it down with me. Ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, seven six, six, five, five four, four, three, two, two one. one. Hands off your mouses. Ow. Give it up one more time for Carlos and Riziki. All right, your first time on the stage. Riziki, please share your project with us and tell us about it. Yes, okay, so uh, let me go in here. And uh, yeah, so I made this uh, mobile app UI for a movie called Flame Fandemonium. And uh, down here you can uh, meet the cast, and as you scroll, you can see that the, it's a bit subtle, but the, the images fade in. 
And then uh, in the background, we have this uh, kaleidoscope uh, uh, effect, which uh, yeah, was supposed to be animating, but uh, the layering is actually blocking it uh, right now. But it still creates this cool uh, fire. <laughs> awesome. Mm. Let's give it up for Ziki. <laughs> All right, Carlos, your second time here. Please share your project. All right. Um... Okay, so because we are handling a movie, and I, I know that you like Star Wars, Nelson. <laughs> I'm not judging. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I say that as a friend. So I just created this like intro crawl, like the, the movies for Star Wars, like that. Ooh. You know, the introduction for for the UI and the movie. You know, for it selling the tickets for the, a new movie for the legendary Sol Han Solo. And also, we have a little bit of you know achievements that he you know might be just doing during the movie. <laughs> wow, great job. Let's give it up for Carlos. <laughs> Judges, please start scoring the projects. So I'll start with you, Riziki. How does it feel? Your first semifinals <laughs> on this stage. Yeah, it's really crazy. And uh, <laughs> the time flies by so fast. <laughs> it does. When you're doing fun stuff in Webflow, it just, it just goes and goes and goes. But um, yeah, so anything you want to say to the community while we wait for the scores? Um, I mean, it's great to be part of this community. And there are so many super talented people sharing cool things and uh, supporting each other. So it's really nice. That's what I love about it, too. <laughs> All right, Carlos, how do you feel? Uh, really nervous, to be honest. <laughs> yes. It doesn't go away. No, it's, you, know, you don't get used to it. Never. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's not like anyone's watching every single click that no. you do. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. But you did wonderful, wonderful. All right, we have the scores in, Carmia. Thank you so much. All right. Challengers, please stand up. Riziki, Carlos. All right, here we go. Okay, thank you. Love the energy of Drumroll, please, and the challenger that's moving on to join Ankita in the finals is Carlos Sepulveda from Colombia. Thank you so much. Go ahead and bring it back. All right, so thank you so much. Again, it is a tough task to, to get here and to do this on stage. Um, any last words you want to give to the community before we let you go? Uh, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, it's really great to be a part of. And I'm also, yeah, really looking forward to contributing more and sharing more of these uh, creative things that, uh, and ideas that I have. Awesome. So, uh, you'll Thank see you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Give it up for Riziki. <laughs> oh, wait, stay here. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> We got to figure out who third place is. All right. So let me get the scores real quick. Let's get uh, Shreyas back on the stage so we can announce our third place winner. So let me get the scores. Thank you. All right. Give it up for Shreyas. All right. Got the scores. All right. Here we go. And. The third place winner of the 2023 Webflow Speed Build Challenge is Riziki from Denmark. Congratulations. Here you go, buddy. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes. All right. Let's give it up for one more time for Shreyas. All right. You may head back. You may head back. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, Judge, go ahead. <laughs> awesome. So we we'll give the finals, uh, finalists, a, a little break. But judges, what are your favorite parts from those semifinal rounds? Yeah, I love the originality from yeah. Carlos. I think that's why I gave him a higher score in this one. Um, it really stands out when someone can really have conviction around what they're building, but then do it in a subtle and creative way at the same time. He just felt composed the entire time, from the very beginning to the end. Well, yeah, he, he looked composed from the outside, but like right. he said, he was very nervous, even right. after showing his project. But yeah, Johnny, do you have a favorite moment? I think it, it, it's just 
interpretation, how different designers interpret prompts is, you know, it just like surprises me. Like, I wouldn't do that. And then they do it in some other way that I'm like, okay, that's actually like very clever. Yeah. It's just like, you know, it's, it's interesting just like what, you know, how people do different things. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful to see all the different types of workflows. Carmilla? Yeah, different approaches, really awesome. I just, Carlos's build was just wet. It was very intentional. Yeah. You know? And I, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. They have some sort of approachable system. Yes. I just have to get that for you. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I just, uh, still, the kaleidoscope. <laughs> What, is, what yeah. is going on over there? Like, I still don't know how he did it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So here we go. Let's start this final. So it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Are you all ready for the Speed Build Challenge 2023 finals? Woo! <laughs> all right. So here's how we're going to do this year's finals. So instead of 15 minutes to design and build something, they'll only have 10 minutes. However, just like last year, we'll have a final, final round. Last year, we called it the last minute client request, but this year, we'll call it something different, and I'll tell you about that later. Also, last year, we had a couple of off-the-wall options. This year, we're gonna make that final, final round easier and just use options that our challengers have already been practicing for. With that being said, let's start the finals. Ooh. All right, let's give a warm welcome back to our first finalist, joining us all the way from India. Please welcome back, Ankita. And also, please welcome back to the main stage, finalist Carlos Sepulveda from Colombia. Right. Okay, audience, you got to help us with this <laughs> final prompt. Right, let me hear a number. How many times should we randomize it? 84. <laughs> I cannot do 84. We only have a limited amount of time. <laughs> I hear four. Okay, here we go. Let's get the prompt on the screen. Click once, twice, three times, and one more. A mobile app UI for a toy store that has an Earth theme that also has a mouse hover interaction. Again, a mobile app UI for a toy store that has an Earth theme that also has a mouse hover interaction. All right, their heads are already processing. <laughs> Challengers, put your headphones on. This is it. This is the finals. Let's put 10 minutes on the clock. All right, say it with me, please. Ready, Ready set, set, build. All right, this is it. This is the finals. Ooh. And they have challenged mm -hmm. each other last mm -hmm. year for the tie break. And Carlos uh, came out as third place winner. So this is gonna be interesting. That's right, yeah. yeah. And again, Carlos <laughs> already went with the hero road. <laughs> well, he's with the karate kid. He's, he trained. He has been training. He has been training. Div on, div on. <laughs> div on. That's yeah? me. That's I me. love that. Yeah. I'm getting claps for that joke. <laughs> Only but from one side. <laughs> Not from the other. Good enough. Where's Good the enough. left side? <laughs> this is awesome. And Kita with the gradients already. Nice. So a toy store. And I see on Carlos's screen, he has Lego. Oh. Star Wars, Legos. Carlos, I'm not the judge. <laughs> He's pulling on your heartstrings. I, I actually don't like Star Wars I, at all. Same. There you go. Uh -oh. yeah. Unpopular opinion, yeah. I think. And Lego is only for children. I love Lego, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you would like the flowers on uh, Ankita's side, right? That's your jam. You're wearing flowers on your jacket Absolutely. right now, Nani. Absolutely. There you go. Playing to you. Oh, we're adding some custom code in there. Custom code where? With Saw Carlos. Bed. Mm -hmm. Carlos added custom code. Did you see what he pasted in? No, I didn't. It was so fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just so fast. Yeah. <laughs> so fast, yeah. It's almost like a speed build challenge or something here. A bit, a bit. But 
Yeah. Let's go to Ankita's screen. I love the gradient that she's using. I wonder what kind of toys this toy store will be selling. Probably flower stuffies or unicorns and rainbows. I'm down for that. See, like Earth, for me, Earth theme is like brown. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now I see this, and it's like, Earth doesn't have to be brown, you know, grass and That's blooms true. and stuff like that. It's like dinosaur time. Okay. So if she adds a, a dinosaur stuffy, that'll win you win some points. See? <laughs> there we go. And I forgot it was a mobile app UI until Ankita put that rectangle right. on the screen. Yeah. Okay. Carlos again starting with a mobile breakpoint, implying that it's a mobile app. Yep. So the two different approaches again. Oh, and she's adding tabs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tab is a fast way to make it look like a interesting approach. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. An app. I'm curious to see which one lends itself better to that hover interaction. I haven't made up my mind yet. Yeah. But I think out of all the interactions, the easiest is the the click. Mm -hmm. and the hub. Mm -hmm. So now that's an easy interaction. What are they going to do with it to make it look exactly? Good? Exactly. Yeah. I think Carlos is playing with this and I, I don't I don't know this guy's name. I, I, again, I don't the like Mandalorian. the Mandalorian. <laughs> I think he's going to make like some sort of like hover effect with the Mandalorian showing up. Yeah, okay. like Mortal Kombat. Like I forget what the sound effect is. You know what I'm Whoopee. talking about? Yeah, that oh, one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Toasty. <laughs> Toasty. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yes. I okay. <laughs> oh, those were the times. All right. Uh, going to Ankita's screen, and she put the tabs on the bottom. And that's what I love about Webflow already pre-built uh, um, elements mm -hmm. and components, because sure, it's already structured and has the JavaScript CSS for you. Like you can manipulate it in so many different ways. I've seen people use tabs as a slider. You know, like yeah. that kind of stuff. Do you really not know who the Mandalorian is? I don't, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's good. I'll tell you backstage, I'll, but it's gonna take about like five hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, going back to Carlos's screen, Star Wars Toy Store. I wonder how earthy this feels, because like you said, um, earth brown. to you immediately was like brown tones, whereas you have more of a colorful tone in Ankita's project. So we'll see how earthy it'll be. And we have Carlos going on chat GPT, and he's asking for a heady short paragraph in fictional Star Wars mm -hmm. toy story. Okay, so he's getting copy, simple. Simple enough. Whoop, we got more assets in Ankita's screen, oh, okay. and it's wooden toys. Got some toys. That is cute. That is cute, I like that. Yeah. So again, how, which one is more app-like? You know, is that gonna play a factor in your scores? Um, and we still haven't seen a hover interaction yet with Ankita, but, there's still a lot of time. We have 40, uh, four minutes and 45 seconds to go. So still a good amount of time to start adding interactions. So she has three tabs. She's ready to go. I, I think the tabs are gonna have to change styles a bit or maybe labels, but that's just me. All right, what are you looking at, Johnny? Just trying to understand what is happening right now. Yeah. <laughs> a lot is happening right now. From okay, Carlos, explore. I'm getting a out of this world vibe. It's earthy, but out of this world with Star Wars. True. Going to Carlos's screen, he's uploading yeah. a CSV? How prepared is he? He has a collection? <laughs> is there a CMS in the theme, in he, the prompt? Yeah. <laughs> no, there's no CMS in the prompt. Oh, I he, see. He's really going for it. I mean, it. it's a toy store. True. And... Is he connect, connecting it with uh, Webflow e-commerce? If it has prices. Oh my. There's prices in the CMAs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's uploading it, and there we go. And look how quickly you can put stuff into a collection, AKA database inside of Webflow. Just amazing. All right. And so going to Ankita's screen, we have three minutes and 30 seconds to go in this first part of the finals. This is just the first part. They have to add uh, something at the end. But uh, let's see, 
We have Ankita with a fixed element. I wonder what she's going to do with that. She's going to be scrolling because I don't see any hover effects. I don't think we've seen hover effects on either Not yet. project. No? And it's the most easiest. I'm wondering because it's so easy, they're just going to wait until the very, very end. I was going to say probably. that like hover effect is probably one of the easiest things to add. Yeah. Um, and it could be done in the last minute, perhaps, or even less. Right. Yeah. And probably they'll just save it for the uh, other part of the of the finals. Mm -hmm. Okay, going back to Ankita's screen, and she has fun toys on a rug. I like that. Playing to my heartstrings of being a parent, and probably you as well. Well, all three of you. Yeah, yeah. parents. They have young ones. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we have a button. Okay, so I'm guessing that button is going to have some sort of hover effect and maybe it's gonna change hmm. the whole look of something. I don't know, I'm interested. I thought that those backgrounds were gonna be controlled by the tabs. I don't know why I keep thinking the tabs are gonna be mm. updating oh. something, but. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. All right, this is the two minute warning. Audience, give a round of applause for Carlos and Ankita. <laughs> right, and the families and friends at home for these two wonderful challengers giving a big shout out to you all and all the watch parties around the world go ahead clap we can't hear you but we love you and we can <laughs> hear it virtually i promise <laughs> but yes you are all awesome okay a minute 35 seconds to go i like that offset detail in carlos's design where he's just like the legos are kind of like popping up from the yeah from the card yes that is i cool. like that too and I guess all these images are being imported from that mm -hmm. CSV that he... Yep. He's using CMS, I remember. Yep. And you were asking for and the there's, prices. And there's a price. Yep. Wow. And they're toys. Oh, oh. Nice. There it is. <laughs> and I heard someone, <laughs> stop. In, stop. someone in the audience went, stop. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Love the energy. <laughs> One minute left in this first of the final rounds. That right. glass effect is popular here yeah. today. Look at that. Oh, yeah. He's, he's been using a lot of uh, glass effects. I'm like reading and rereading the prompt, and it just like, clicked. Mm -hmm. Hovers and mobile apps. Yeah. And how they just, you just don't have a hover effect in a mobile app. Mm. True. Yeah. True. Ah. Well, I mean, maybe in the future, Vision Pro, like you're hovering with your eyes, right? So That's you can. Right. Maybe. And it's mobile because you're walking around with it. Mm -hmm. Coming soon. There you go. I hover. That's a good point. I hover. Yeah, not the letter I, like like iPod, the I. Okay. Anyways, all right. <laughs> Fifteen seconds to go. <laughs> all right, count it with me. Ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, seven six, six, five, four, three, two, two one. one. Hands off your mouses. Woo. Okay, challengers, take a breather. Feeling good? All right, we're almost there. This is the last part. Now it's time for the final, final, V3, final, copy, parentheses, two round. <laughs> In this round, both challengers will simply need to implement an additional Lottie animation or spline to their projects as well as another interaction, any interaction you want. And challengers, you will have an additional seven minutes to implement these additions. All right, you ready? Let's put the headphones on. All right, let's put seven minutes on the clock. All right, everyone, audience, please help me out. Ready, set, set build. build. All right, extra. You seem seven. very proud with your slide. I am very proud of that slide. <laughs> when I was typing it and it did that word, uh, that character break, I was like, yes. <laughs> it just feels good. <laughs> We've all been there. We have. Yeah. Of course. And if you haven't, you will. <laughs> all right. So, again, a mobile app UI for a toy store that has an Earth theme that also has a mouse hover 
interaction. We've seen their first parts of their builds. Now, what's the Lottie animation or spline, which is new today? And uh, what is that new interaction? So we saw a hover with uh, Carlos and someone had a great reaction for that. And we have yet to see one from Ankita. So yeah. Okay, so Ankita is adding her Lottie animation. I wonder yep. what it will be. And it seems to be a toy rail dot JSON. Oh, mm. that's cute. That is adorable. <laughs> All right. And okay, she made it small. And I'm guessing it's just going to go across the screen in, in some way. That's cute. That's definitely implied. I wonder if it's going to go behind the phone or inside of the phone, maybe. Ooh. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Like on the active tab, maybe? Yeah. Wait, wait, that could wait. Be fun. Carlos. Whoa. Carlos is on spline right now. Is that a 3D Carlos? What? <laughs> right. Stop. I have, I have Stop. no words. I. <laughs> words. Ah. Oh, he's wearing the same shirt. That Is this Carlos like five minutes ago? Yeah. <laughs> so. my, my gosh. My gosh. The man came prepared. He did. All right. So we have 3D Carlos. I wonder what interaction he's going to add. Obviously, a spline one. And it's, ooh, the interaction is adding the headband. Yo, mm. if that happened. He brings a full circle. What? Carlos that. Karate Kid. Yes. Ooh, I like how Ankita is pulling in code. She's adding in, um, looks okay. like JSON. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. I like that. She's adding some JSON. And I'm wondering if it's GSAP. Okay, it's particles. All right. There you go. Don't forget that bracket. And I'm really interested. Okay, so the. The train is on top of the phone. That's cute. And she's adding a collection. These two players have came prepared. I love it. She's, she's structuring her collection really fast. There's only three minutes and 45 seconds to go. And let's see here. Yep, she brought a CSV with her. There we go. Toy store, upload it. It must be so interesting to like gather assets for this because you have no idea what you should get. So you just like yeah. pack everything yeah. in your bag to see if maybe you'll use it. Exactly, exactly. Uh, amazing what they are coming to play with. Let's go back to uh, Carlos's screen. And yeah, really mm. interested to see what he does with this. It looks like he cut off his left arm, but seems like an overflow <laughs> hidden. Wait. Wait, is nice for wait, studio. How, he put his studio's logo on here. Uh, what what is gonna happen? I'm so interested. Okay, less than three minutes to go. One more time for Carlos and Ankita for doing a great job. Let's go. Okay, back on Ankita's screen, and so she's adding a top bar. I'm wondering if this is part of the mobile app experience. Oh, there's her collection list of toys. Okay. Interesting. I'm wondering on Carlos's screen what the Star Wars why uh, what the Star Wars toy store has to do with his 3D of himself, the 3D photo of himself. Amazing. I think it had like a glitch effect or something was happening there. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's gonna do some sort of like page loader. I can't see what he's doing with his interactions. Okay, and again, ladies and gentlemen, this is done from scratch, but the assets were pre-built. So amazing what you can do when, you know, you can just start from scratch, but have everything ready and you just do something in 15 minutes. Amazing. I think it's a very interesting exercise for anybody here. Just like time box yourself, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and just like see what you can do. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, I'm never going to do Not that. Not that. And we'll give the link out. Uh, 
in some way, but if you want to challenge yourself with this a prompt, it's just a, a prompt on a Webflow page. Try it out for yourself. See what you can do in 20 minutes, you know, and then see if you can do it in 15. Yeah. All right. So a minute, 14 seconds to go. And we're adding custom code on Ankita, Ankita screen. And she's, yeah, she's playing around with the particles. Interesting to see, interesting to see. And she has even more code, okay? Going back to Carlos's screen, okay? And so he's playing around with spline interactions. And we have less than a minute to go. This is it, this is the end of the speed build challenge. Let's give it up for Carlos and Ankita. Last 30 seconds. Anything calling out to you right now? Anything. I see stick to fun on Ankita's screen. And I see uh, Star Wars and I think that's, is that timed? Okay, it's a timed interaction. I wonder what he's, what Carlos is gonna do. But this is the last 12 seconds. Count it down with me, audience. 10, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, six, six five, five. Four, three, two, one. Hands off your mouses. That's it. That was fun. Great job, you two. Great job. Uh, that is it for the Speed Build Challenge of 2023. Let's start off with Ankita. Please show your project and tell us more about it. So, uh... Since it's the Earth theme, so I uh, tried to show the toy store as eco-friendly toys. So once you click on it and you have the mobile app and uh, then you can explore the toys. And even in the background, it's like more like, you know, connected with the nature. So love yeah. It. Okay, now I see the Earth theme. I love the particle effects. Great job. Let's hear it for Ankita. And lastly, let's go to Carlos. Please show us your work and explain it. All right. So I I was just creating like a store uh, for um, this, you know, toys about you know Star Wars, and I created like a full list of them just to for ready to be purchased. By the way, if you want one, just let me know. <laughs> and and well, I have this hover state where you know there is a joke about the Boba Fett if you know the movies. So. He says, like, I'm just a simple human, but in this case, a Lego toy, just trying to make my way in the, in the store. All right. Okay. And for uh, the spline, I just created, like, uh, something cool that we were working <laughs> on. Like, this is a 3D <laughs> animation for, you know, me. Uh, you know, me. <laughs> uh, I wish I could just turn it to, to completely to the right, just to show you, like, you know, a little message. But anyways, that's it. <laughs> yes. Great job. Let's give it up for Carlos and Ankita. <laughs> Judges, go ahead and start writing your scores. Um, and while they're doing that, both of you, great, great job. Both of you are, are now Webflow Speed Build veterans. <laughs> and it's done. You can breathe now. <laughs> so how do you feel, Ankita? Great. Great. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything you want to say to the folks back home and the uh, Floxies community? Yes. Uh, again, like uh, for this challenge also, I just looked into the community, what people have built and look out for the inspiration. So definitely, yes, uh, community is always there, like, you know, a biggest role in my career. So thank you, everyone. Yes. Give it up for Ankita. <laughs> Carlos. It looks like you've been training yeah, a lot. Yeah, I've been training a lot, <laughs> actually. <laughs> <laughs> yes, how do you feel now that you can take a breather and relax? No, yeah, totally. It's like, after this, it's just, you know, chill. And I'm going to unwind a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Anything you would like to say to the community? No, thank you all. You know, I really appreciate the opportunity to meet you. Let me just stand up. <laughs> thank you all for, you know, being an amazing community. I really love, you know, meeting in person, all of you. So it's, you know, to me, it's like a life changer. Every time I just see everybody, yeah, I just consider all, you all like legends of Webflow. So thank you. Yes, <laughs> Carlos. All right. Judges, do we have the final scores? All right. Thank you. Carlos, Ankita, 
please join me. All right. You both have done an incredible job. Second time here. Um, everyone, again, one more time for Ankita from India. And one more time for Carlos from Colombia. Oh, that's a close score. Oh, that's a close score. And the winner of the 2023 Webflow Conf Speed Build Challenge and our newest Speed Build Challenge champion is Carlos from Colombia. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you. You did awesome. You did awesome. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. One more time. Great job. Great job. All right, Carlos, you just won this year's Speed Build Challenge. How do you feel? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, to my family, well, para mi familia en Colombia, un saludo muy especial a mis amigos que están ahí viendo. Entonces, a la gente que habla español, también hacemos Webflow. Así Woo. que un aplauso para ellos también. Vamos. All right. <laughs> and Ankita, your designs are beautiful as always. You put up a great challenge. How do you feel? Great. I mean, it's like competing with Carlos again. <laughs> As in a great challenge. I know that uh, he has worked a lot. So, yeah. It's been really nice, like, uh, you know, again competing with him and again coming back on the stage. Awesome. Great feeling. Congratulations. Well, thank you all so, so much. That's a wrap on this year's Webflowcom Speed Build Challenge. Thank you again to our guest judges, William, Johnny, Carmia. Thank you all for watching in person, here in the audience, and online. Thanks to our production team and the Webflow staff for helping us put together. One more time for Carlos and Ankita, please. <laughs> Have a great rest of your Webflow Conf 2023. My name again is Nelson Ablos Jr. Thanking you all for making the web beautiful together. See ya.